Hi. Hi, I'm Margot. And I bet you're wondering, how come I'm in black and white? Ha, it's cause today, I'm gonna show you what you can do to make money from black and white images into colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. So, if you never have seen me before, I'm Margot, and I do lots and lots of beautiful drawings, and I put them up on my Etsy store. And as you can see, I put lots and lots of them up in my room too, because I just love drawing. If you want to see some of my other videos, I left a link to both of the ones I did before in the link below in the description. Welcome to the Mindstorm channel. It's a super cool and fabtastic YouTube channel to give you all kinds of ideas for making you money and giving you ideas and making you smarter and making you love life and making you happy. KK. So I'm getting kind of tired of being in black and white, so I'll be right back. Oh, that is so much more better. Now I feel like myself again, because being in black and white is hard on my fizz, uh, fizzy, all OG, and my brain. A lot of people keep asking me if I'm making money in my Etsy store, because they say there's too many people selling arts and drawings, and you can't make money on the Etsys because there is too many people. Okay, so maybe I only sold 20 drawings so far, but at least I'm trying, because if you're too scared of too much comp, compete, <laughs> competition, and you never put anything up onto your Etsy walls, then you will not sell anything ever. So you don't have to be as scared of too many people because today I'm going to show you how to stand out from all of the other people selling drawings online. I'm going to show you a cool way to do it. So okay. So, I found out, by accident kinda, that old time photos can be very popular with people on the Etsy's. And I don't mean old time like 2020. I mean like really old time like 1920. Or like this one of an old timey gas station. Or like this one. I think it's Chicago, I think, cause I'm only six. So just scroll through the Etsy's and you'll see that they're pretty popular. And it looks like they make a lot of sales. But you'll notice that they're all in black and white. And you'll also notice that there is a lots and lots of people selling the same black and white photos. So this is where you can start to stand out from all of the other peoples. Now what if you could make these old timey photos into old timey color photos? So how did these guys get all of these old photos? Cause you know they didn't take them themselves. That's for sure. It's because they use photos that are in what they call public domain galleries. So here, the first place to look for photos that are in the public domain is good old Google. So you can type in something like old beach photos. Then come up here to the images word. So some of these images are probably going to be copyrighted. So you have to go up here to the tools button and push this usage rights and choose Creative Commons licenses. So now all of these images are free and nobody is gonna get mad at you for using them and you can sell them if you want to. So right now I don't see any old timey photos that I want. Hmm, maybe this one is cool, maybe. But we can just come back up to the Googles and type in like 1920s beach images. Now, but every time you do a new search, you gotta come back up to the usage rights and make sure it is Creative Commons. KK, now, we got free images to use, like this one, or this one, or like this one. So this is a cool image, I'm gonna use it. So real quick, there are more other sites you can use to find free old-timey photos. This is one called Wikimedia Commons. And look, I found that old-timey photo everybody on the Etsy's was selling and even another site called free-images.com. If you look hard, you can find old-timey planes that maybe plane lovers will love. Or like lifeguards from 1949, a million years ago. So you get the idea. Find some old-timey photos that you think other people will like. Cause now, we're gonna make them into B-U-T, full colors. And to do that, we're gonna use a site called vanceai.com. It's vanceai.com. They have lots and lots of toys to play with. And the one we want is the AI to colorize the photos. It's super easy. You just have to take your black and white photos and just drag it over like this. 
and there's different settings for landscapes or human peoples. Then all you gotta do is push a button. And bam, you got your colors. Okay, now it's gonna take credits. And it's gonna cost you like almost $7. But you can get 200 downloads with that. But it's gonna be worth it because I'm gonna show you how to make some monies maybe by selling your own drawings. So to do that, we're gonna come to my favorite print on demand site called Gelato. Just like the delicious ice cream. They let you put pictures and stuff on phone cases and posters and coffee mugs. And then you can even hang all of your cool drawings up on the wall. So all you have to do is sign up because it's free. And so once you sign up and log in, you can come over to their catalog where all their cool toys are. You can print your drawings on clothes and baby clothes and tote bags and phone cases. But for today, we're going to click on the wall arts. And for the wall arts, they have posters and wooden frame posters and aluminum, aluminum prints. And you can put drawings on all of them. But for today, we're going to pick the canvas. And you can see how big the canvas is going to look when you push these buttons. So, like, I'm going to pick a 18 by 24 canvas. And you're going to pay Gelato $27 to get it printed. And they will ship it to your customer for like $13. But look, back on the Etsy's, the same size canvas can be sold for a lot, a lot, a lot more monies. So once you sign into Gelato, come over here to stores. Because now you can connect to your Etsy store. Okay, so if you don't have an Etsy store yet, you just have to set one up on Etsy and then go through all the steps. And then, just connect them both. It's really super easy. KK, once you're all set up, you can start adding a product to your store. Now we're going to select our canvas. And this is the fun part. We're going to create our drawing now. First, find the correct canvas size. Oops, huh, that's not the right size. We gotta choose this size instead and make sure we select the really wide size. And now let's add our drawing. You can just import it from your computer. Now just place it how you want it to be. But, uh, oh, we're getting yelled at by the machine again because this number means that the drawing is way too low res. Oh, Lucian. But don't worry, don't worry, because all we got to do is go back to the Vance AI. Because they have another toy that will make the image bigger. Just drag the smaller image over and looky, you can make it like eight times bigger. Then go back to the gelato and drag the new and bigger image over onto the canvas. And now that number is green and it's right like we want it. So let's preview and see what it looks like. Oh my landies, it's beautiful. And once you're happy with everything, just continue to the mock-ups. Then add all your details. And now, set the price you want your customers to pay you. Now remember, it's gonna cost you about $40 to have Colado printed and ship it to your customer. So, you have to make the price higher, so you get lots of money. Then, you can just publish it to your store. And people will love it on their walls. And pretty soon you can have lots and lots of posters and canvases of colorful old-timey photos. Next time I come back, I want to tell you so much more about gelato. Like the way your customers can personalize stuff. But you can check it out now if you want to. Just look at the link in the description below, okay? I hope this gave you some good, good, good ideas to make your own drawings and stand out from the crowd. Give me a like and subscribe if you like this KK. Now I'm gonna go get some ice cream with my bestest friend Maggie. We're gonna taste a lot of flavors. Cause we're taste buds.